Hi guys, Elite here with a new process video for shimmers and these are the photos I will be scrapping and I'm showing you which uh, sprays I chose to use and you can find all the names um, on the blog post. Uh, I will put a link in the video description box and don't forget that if you mention my name when you place an order on the shimmers website you get a free product of your choice so I am going to use again uh, water uh, watercolor paper and my watercolor comes in uh, these large sheets that I have to cut down to a 12 by 12 size it's actually a, a little bit less than 12 by 12 and then I always have this extra piece left over and this time I just wanted to use it as a color swatch just to see how these colors look together um, how they mingle and what new shades they make when they mix together and what I learned from this was that the dark uh, color that I chose was very um, overpowering so I end up just using it uh, to add some splatters at the end and there I am thinking and I had an idea I really wanted to do this kind of an almost abstract um, you know Christmas tree type thing going on so I'm just using another piece of uh, watercolor paper I actually made something on the other side and I wasn't uh, that happy with it um, you could use anything basically that is sturdy enough because um, it gets kind of beaten with all the uh, mist spraying so if you just use regular paper it will fall apart on you so um, and something like a transparency could also work because it's non-porous so when you spray on it it's it's not going to absorb into the transparency um, so yeah you just want to make sure it's something sturdy and um, that's not going to fall apart when you add some mists on it so I'm just adding, you can see it's very messy. That's the look I'm after. If you want a clean look, you could make your own stencil. Use, um, um, what's it called? Like a knife, a craft knife, and cut out nice triangles. And then you can use that as a cleaner template. But yeah, I'm all about the mess. And you can also see that um, I'm not going for realism. I'm just choosing colors that I like, letting it drip, adding splatters, adding some paint with packaging, um, with some packaging. And yeah, I just love how that turned out. So now I'm going to add just a few details, a little bit of definition with uh, some black ink. And this pen has waterproof ink. Um, if you're adding your uh, pen details uh, as your last detail, then you don't, it doesn't have to be waterproof, but I'm never sure if I'm going to want to add something else. So I just go with some waterproof ink. And then I know that if I want to splatter it or spray some more, um, my ink won't smudge and now I am going to add lots and lots and lots of splatters <laughs> I really wanted to create this look of you know just a bunch of glittery um, splatters and I'm just looking through my little swatch book for the most shimmery spray and I the most shimmery gold spray that I have and I went with the eggnogging um, which is a really beautiful um, kind of a light yellow um, shimmer gold you know you can have like darker gold but this one is really bright and beautiful and then I'm also going to add this is snowstorm and this is a white shimmer spray so I'm also going to add that and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to add some more splatters um, yeah this was so much fun to make <laughs> you can see I'm not being delicate and yes it goes all over the place so you want to protect your surface 
And now I'm just showing you a bit of a close-up. I am using again the eggnogging spray just to add a little bit more gold into these little lights that I hand drew. And I have to tell you that I, I don't feel very confident in my drawing skills. And I discovered with my daughter this really great YouTube channel. Um, it's called Art with Kids Hub, something like that. Um, and they had a tutorial on a Christmas tree. So we did that and they showed how to make these little um, lights. So if you're wanting to try something like this out, then go to YouTube. It's a really great resource. And if I remember, I will link to this particular channel. Now, I'm sorry, ah, oh, this is off screen. I didn't notice, but I just drew a little star at the top of each tree. And now I'm painting it also with this, um, the same uh, eggnogging um, ink spray. So sorry about that. You can see all those details in the close up shots at the end of the video. And with this, of course, I'm going to let it completely dry. And now I'm just going to assemble my um, layout and I'm using the papers I'm using behind the photo on the right are from um, the Take Me Away collection, I think. Just a couple of papers that coordinated with my trees. And then the paper behind the photo on the left side and that little cute tab are from Pretty Little Studio. And you can see those, there are some bits and pieces there that I just got. They are from a relatively new collection and it's kind of winter Christmas themed and it is just gorgeous. So uh, make sure you check that out if you like it. Um, it's super cute. It has the most the cutest watercolor illustrations and it's just beautiful. So I'm just going to add a few details. I'm also going to add my title from that same little uh, cute ephemera pack. Uh, I'm going to remove that enjoy um, just because I found something I liked better. And I thought about using this, I believe in miracles, um, but I end up going with something a little different. And yeah, this was so much fun to make. I am really enjoying just using watercolor paper and my mists and just spraying. Um, you know, I, it's a very busy time for pretty much everyone, I think. And this is such a great, easy way to make beautiful backgrounds for your layouts or art journals or cards, whatever uh, floats your boat. And yeah, using watercolor paper just makes it easier for me. I know the paper can handle it. I don't have to prep it with gesso. Um, the disadvantage is that the paper that I'm using is a little bit smaller than 12 by 12. So I will have to mount it on um, a 12 by 12 piece if I want it to fit uh, to my uh, page protectors in my scrapbooks. Uh, but you can find larger um, watercolor paper. I actually have a 12 by 12 inches or almost 12 by 12 inches uh, watercolor paper, but it's not um, the best of quality. So I do find that it warps and buckles when um, I use a lot of mists. It's not so much a problem when it's completely dry, then it's, it's relatively straight. But while I'm spraying, it really buckles. And then I have these pools um, of of mists and that sometimes leads to uh, a result that I uh, don't necessarily like. So, and it really has to do with the quality of the paper. So this is actually um, also relatively inexpensive paper that I get from Ken Bromley. It's an online store in the UK and they have this practice paper they call. Uh, it comes in packages of 50 and it's, um, it's really nice. It's not the best, but um, for these purposes, it's it's fantastic. So um, I will also try to remember to link to that if I can. So I'm just adding some finishing touches from the same uh, cute little ephemera pack that I have there. You can see I'm just sip sieving through it 
uh, on the left side. It's just every little piece is adorable. Uh, I'm just trying to add something um, in each area of my embellishments um, that, you know, kind of repeats itself. So I have two uh, flare buttons and I'm going to add some more of these cute little uh, music notes. Uh, also repeat that green. I wasn't going to add green. Green is one of those colors that I don't use a lot, but um, it worked really well here because there's also green in the photo. So here are some close-ups. Look at those cute little um, lamps on my trees. I hope you enjoyed this video and you feel inspired. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I wish you a lovely holiday season, a happy new year. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.